Los Angeles California a junior middleweight battle a non title fight featuring Ricardo Mayorga and Shane Mosley from the Home Depot Center here in Carson California scheduled for 12 rounds coming right up. All right here we go. And Mayorga as he always does comes out of a cannon and fires the first round. And he counters with a nice right hand that time as Mosley reaches inside. They like to come up the middle. There's Mayorga with the right hand to try to discourage the jab. And then a little bit of theatrics early on. Yeah, he grabs hold of uh, Mosley with his off arm from the referee, lifts him up, and then he looks at the referee and says, hey, look what he's doing. <laughs> he's a street fighter. Now, he doesn't look like a 7 1 underdog right now, does he? But when Mayorga lands the left hook, he's a guy that, that feeds. On whatever direction he's headed. He's doing well. He'll continue to do well and increase. If you start to get to him, he'll go downhill. The highs are the highs and the lows of the lows. That's the uh, way it is for Mayorga, whereas Mosley is much more consistent. Um, Mosley really blasted him in the kidneys. And that's a good thing to do with a guy like that. The guy wants to bully you. Even if the referee took a point away, it was a smart thing by Shane. See, Shane's no fool in there. You blast a guy with a kidney shot like that, and it's going to take something, uh, uh, some steam out of the sails of Mayoga. That really was a punishing right hand to his kidneys. And the odds are the referee will not take a, po uh, a point in the first round. So you, you're going to get a warning, and that's it. So it's a high percentage foul. But, but that was uh, not any mistake by Shane Mosley. No, it, it's, it, and it's a calculated move. The odds are they won't take a point. It's so early, and if they do, so what? But there's the Mayorga right hand, too. He may have hurt Mosley a little bit. His legs are a little bit loose to the knee right now. Chopping right hand again. Now his punches come from such a wide angle. He can catch you on the temple. And that's the old equilibrium shot. Well, Mayorga's a guy like, like any other bully or street fighter that will come at you with everything he got. Knives and guns are blaring in the early going, and you got the weather that storm. And now he complains about the heads coming together. Mayoga, who's a tough guy, complains about every little thing because sooner or later he's going to do something dirty. And he's. Look where Mayoga has his left hand. Trying to dare Mosley to leap across with the right hand. And Mosley did, but he came up short. Remember, Mosley has a considerable reach advantage. It doesn't look like he's got a four inch reach advantage in there, but he does. Now he didn't give that time. He planted his feet and tried to counter. And Mosley an excellent counter puncher. And Mayorga scoring from a distance. The looping Way to go. overhand right. Mosley hasn't done enough to win this round. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Here okay. comes the bell in the second All round right. of the fight. I think you got to get that to Mayorga as well. Yes. Now this is a fight where you know heads will come together, so will shoulders, and so will elbows on heads. Yeah, but this fight, and, and that time it was the head of uh, Mosley hitting it to Mayorga. Watch your hand. Again, Mosley is cute. He knows exactly what he's doing in there. This is a very experienced, very good fighter. You know, win four Wait. world titles in three different Let's weight classes back. without being some kind of fighter. This is uh, one of those rounds where both guys are trying to convince the other guy how tough they are. Look uh, at this. We we'll try to send the message with it because look at the, the anybody for a jab to get inside. <laughs> Shane works on the inside. He, when he's on the inside like that, he should, he should come with the uppercut. Just don't tie up immediately. You got that right hand free. Try to nail this guy. Oh, oh, man, that left hook he threw. Boy, he threw that with bad intentions. Oh. And, and then he moves straight back, and Mayorga nearly landed the big right hand, but Mosley cut him off. As a right hand lands by Shane Mosley. Second time through, he pumped it. That's a little uh, sharp shooting exercise there. Then he covers up on the inside. They trade right hands, and that time Mosley came out okay with that trade. Mosley making a statement more in this fourth round now. He's getting back in this fight. Clever guy is Shane Mosley. 
Not landing those wild shots like he was in the first couple of rounds. So Mosley has done, Dave, as we discussed, he would. And that's weathered the storm through the first three or four. Right. And now for him, time to step up and can take advantage of a fight that's playing into what he wants to do. Chopping shots, but missing shots by Mayorga. Shane Paws with the left hand. And that's not the way for him to throw the jab. He wants to get off that right hand. It's getting a lot easier for him to get inside now. Remember, he had to leap in before. Now he's there, and he hurt Mayorga with that right hand. Caught him with the left hand just about four or five seconds before that in the right hand. But now there's more consistency of the right hand than Shane's landing. And you know, Mayorga, when he assaults, even though his angles are strange sometimes, he squares up and he can be hit with the right hand. We talked about that at the very outset of the fight, that Mayorga, as the fight wears on, can be hit. And Mosley's taking advantage of it. There's the chopping shot. And he leaves himself exposed. That time he came in, Mosley whacked him with the right hand. Mosley beating him to the punch right now. And, and it's a loaded punch yeah. because he knows he can get him with it. Yeah, I was going to say more steam on it, and you're exactly right. It's a loaded punch. Caught him again on the jaw. Well, he has had a right-hand carnival in this round. And Mayorga's attempt to buy a call does not endear him any more to this house. But Shane okay, is, good, good has on. hit him on a couple of occasions in the area in the lower part of his back in the kidney area. And it could take a toll on this guy. And Mayorga's starting to look gassed. Yeah, he is. Ah. As the bell, and that's the most you round. Well, Mayorga's got to go back because the only way he can beat him is by wild roundhouse punches. He can't get in a boxing match with a master boxer. There's the right hand to throw. Oh, nice left hook by Shane Mosley. That brought out the renewed fire of Mayorga. But Mosley's landing big shots, ducking here. Uh, you know, you have to stay in when a guy's shooting big shots at you. You have to get down low enough to let them fly over you. That's not human nature. But, Sweet Pete Whitaker stuff. But, yeah, but, but, uh, but uh, Mosley getting low enough to come up firing, and he is landing a high percentage of power shots. Uh, this is this is where the master boxer is showing now. And is certainly leading with a minute and a little bit more gone here in the sixth round. Heads came together, and uh, Mayorga embellishing it. Keep it up. Let's go. Watch. And Shane just says it, kind of throws up his arms and he says, come on, you big baby, let's fight. Heads are going to come together. Well, that, that's a sign, though, to Mosley that Mayorga is coming unglued. And he is coming unglued. For a guy that has everything he has to say, look at the hand speed. Now Mayorga will get some sort of second wind here. And he is being drilled. Mosley hitting him with everything. Watch the elbows, watch the head now on Mayorga. The Shane digs him low to the liver that time. Shane's doing almost what he wants at will right now. A dramatic turn in this fight. Shane threw that right hand that time, but he didn't throw it with bad intentions. Look at these shots. Shane loads up the left hook, comes back with the right hand. Why with the left hand is Mayorga? Mike, you 15 seconds to go in the six, and another brilliant round for Sugar Shane Mosley. Look at this. And there he had the chance away from the referee. <laughs> Even no the mistake. low blow got shielded. No mistake. But Mosley did bang, bang him hard, hard. Chance going out for Mosley. And here is Mayoga trying to rough out street fight Mosley. Mosley able to parry off and block most of the stuff. But look at the face of Mosley, virtually, you know, a little bit of puffiness by the left eye, but Mayoga's face beginning to blow up a bit. And really, Mayoga doesn't have a plan B. His plan B is to land the big shot on Mosley, and that's it. From the fourth round on. And here we go. We're seeing Mayorga get off first for the first time in about five rounds. Right. Well, Dave, you, you made the point that he, you know, that he may have thought he won that seventh round, and that might be just enough for him to get going again. Because he had a better seventh round than he did four, five, and six. But I didn't think it was enough, in my opinion, to win that. 
Shane walks in with the throwing jabs. It really surprised me. I don't think has been able to throw a jab in the fight. Uh, we've great. talked about how, great. Great. how unusual it is to see Shane Mosley leaping in to get inside the guy's jab or just walking in and not having to jab his way in. That was prominent in four, five, six, and seven. And we're not seeing Mosley gamble to get himself in position to throw them. And this may be complaining again. It was a low blow. It was a low blow. But again, these are the slick, cute things that Mosley can do. Knows how to get away with it. I'm not saying he did that on purpose, but he knows what he's doing in there. He's a slick fighter. Now, Mosley hasn't changed from his fighting from the eighth round. Now, there you get the right hand in there that time. Right back with a chopping shot is Mayorga. And as Mayorga ties Mosley up on the inside, he's taking away some of those big right hands that Mosley landed earlier. And he's making the flow of the fight a choppy one. Slow a little bit, trying to buy some time in the middle of the fight. And Mayorga trying to turn it on, and Mosley trying to play the clock a little bit and then sneak in and steal some rounds. And Mosley you were beating the heck out of him through those middle rounds, and this is not the same fighter as four, five, six, and seven. And Mayorga takes advantage of it. Shane comes back with a little bit of his own, but with 20 seconds to go, I don't think Mosley's done enough to win this round. And, and Mosley will have to get back to what he was doing in round four. Start with the angles. Make Mayorga come to you, separate the shoulders, and then that will create the opening. If you move straight back, that's what Mayorga wants. And uh, Shane Mosley is breathing heavily, uh, a little more so than Mayorga here. I mean, Mayorga is not fancy, but he's winning the round again. And, and he's basically, it's a situation where he's got a chance to win more low-scoring rounds. The only one problem, and that's in the judges, Pat Russell, Tony Krebs, and uh, Nelson Vasquez. You know, at what stage in the really close rounds of the fight, do you swing for the guy that you don't like? Because Mosley is a very likable guy. In that close round, those little tiny things like that can often make a difference in the scoring of a round. Especially in low scoring rounds, which you, you, can, you can say neither guy did much. You know, there's always a question to, has Mosley get some sort of a muscle pull, a hand injury or something? Because he's not throwing any punches right now. When he came in, at four through seven, he moved to the side, he came over the top, he dominated. And now he's back to moving straight ahead. And Mayorga, who got his second win in terms of attitude, now senses weakness by Mosley. Shane loaded up the right hand that time and caught a piece of Mayorga, but Mayorga got his glove break. enough to block it so that he wasn't hit. Turns his back to him again. Almost hot dogging it is, is uh, Ricardo Mayorga. Caught him with the right hand coming in, and Shane's got that look on his, on his face break. like, man, what's break. going on here? He, he is exasperated, fatigued. The heads did come together four through seven. The angles that he created. Not there now. And does he have the ability to do it anymore at this age? He caught Mayorga that time and spun his head. Mayorga right back with the right hand of his own. Now he says, let's trade him again. A lot of that Latino mooch. <laughs> Playing to the crowd is Mayorga. They boo him, and in the Latin countries, when they whistle, they're not whistling in favor. Now he loves to be the bad guy. He feeds on it. And there's a Mosley's shoulder caught the jaw of Mayorga. Mayorga is winning this round, I think. Shane needs to try to lay one real good shot on him to have any hope of getting any, any judges to give him this round. Mayorga has outboxed the master boxer in this round. Look at this. Man, I... The bell's coming up here, Dave. There it is. I can't give that round of, uh, a great anybody, game. anybody but the Mayorga. This is the final round, and it's been an entertaining fight to say the least. A good body shot there by Mosley, but look at the theatrics. Yeah, they were there for Shane Mosley early to, to fight off the bull. And, uh, and now he needs to rekindle some magic from four through seven. 
Well, Shane is reaching down as best he can right now. First minute of that round, not a lot between the two of them. There's a distinct possibility of a draw here. That yes. sets up some nice uh, uh, fights in the 154 pound division for both guys. Oh, and he cut Mayorga good. And again, good. Mosley may just pull this thing out by the skin of his teeth. Right back comes Mayorga. Based on those three heavy punches, I think that maybe Sugar Shane This is Mosley's round to this point. And he's got question is, can he get an exclamation point, maybe a knockdown? Well, if he can knock him down, he'll win the fight. If he can knock him down, he'll win the fight. And he's on top of him. The old veteran champ. He's got Mayorga. And Mayorga goes down. Oh, did he need that, perhaps? Mayorga goes down to the 12th. And that's going to give Mosley the fight by one point of my score sheet. Because we're out of time in this fight. And he goes down again before the bell. What's this? Has he said the fight's over? He did. So does the score a knockout? We don't know because right at the bell he went down. We're going to have to wait and get the official scoring because... He waved it off with no count. Yeah, but, but the bell sounded. Remember in the state of California, the bell in the final round of the fight signifies the end of the contest. So in reality, it shouldn't be a knockout. Right. But if it scored as a second uh, knockdown before the end of the bell, he Mosley, wins anyway. Mosley right. wins. With the knockdown, I get Mosley 114, 113. If it scored a second the knockdown. Second knockdown, it is a second knockdown. The winner by knockout victory, the pride of Pomona, California. He's so sweet, he's sugar. Shea.